everybody. Yeah. Anderson, um, last year you closed out the Mariposa Folk Festival with a hugely successful performance of The Last Waltz. Right. Um, and this year you're going to be closing out the festival on Sunday with uh, a new group of musicians called the Machadesh Parish. So um, basically, can you tell us uh, about this new venture? For instance, um, who are some of the featured artists in the band? Well, uh, Really, it, uh, Match Dash Parish came about by uh, Matt Weidegger and I. Now, Matt had sung some of the Bob Dylan songs at, in the Last Waltz last year, and he's a young uh, uh, piano player, guitarist, and songwriter from Kitchener, Ontario. He's 24 years old, and we'd been uh, doing another sort of theme show, which was the uh, Mad Dogs of the Englishman, the music of Joe Cocker, and that's with a uh, large ensemble, 12 people as well. And we didn't want to come back to Mariposa with another sort of theme thing. So Matt and I, he's a songwriter and I'm a songwriter. We, we had talked about using that same band, but using it with, with our original material. So when Mariposa came back to me and said, you know, it was so great last year, could you do something else? This is what we immediately thought of, that this would be a great opportunity to put this band together that we've been sort of dreaming of. And... Uh, so Matt really is, he plays guitar, he plays mandolin, he plays piano, organ, uh, and he's got a great voice. So he's really the main focus. Uh, we have three background singers led by Keisha Wint. Uh, she's a wonderful gospel singer. She's done the Blues of Gospel, as a matter of fact, last uh, February. Mm -hmm. She did the Blues of Gospel show for Mariposa with me here in Aurelia. Um, we have a drummer from, uh, originally from Memphis, Tennessee, uh, who played with Al Green and uh, and the Bar Kays, and named Shamak Ali. He'll be playing with us. Uh, Gene Hardy from the Bourbon Tavern and Aqua Choir is going to be playing sax. So it's, it's, a, it's a real sort of all-star band that we've put together of, of 12 people in, in all. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be something. It'll be big. <laughs> uh, in terms of the music you're going to play, uh, you mentioned you're going to be a lot of, doing a lot of your own material. Yeah. Or, uh, are you going to be a mixture of both? Of, um, of established songs and, you know, and new songs? A lot of them are new. Uh, certainly, well, I might have three songs that, that fans of mine would recognize. You know, they've, I've played them for the last five years or so. But, um, no, I think, uh, uh, and we might do a couple of covers, uh, but in a really unique way, you know. We're going to sort of take that same approach as Joe Cocker, that we'd really change the range. If we did, if we did covers, we're still not, uh, haven't decided on that. But uh, certainly the original material, and the band itself, it's, it's more like a, a, a gospel soul revival band. Like, it's a lot of energy um, with the horns and with the organ and piano. You know, you have that really sort of southern blues gospel feel going on, you know. And uh, two drummers, percussion, you know, a full complement. It'll be a full stage. <laughs> now, the name Matchadash Parish, you know, to me Parish does have a kind of a gospel yeah. feel to it. Yeah. So how did, how did the name come about? Well, the name Matchadash is a local uh, Aboriginal term, and, and I've only seen it in Simcoe County. So uh, when we moved up in 1989, uh, I, I remember being downtown and seeing Matchadash Street. I thought that was a really unique name. And I do sort of collect names and, uh, and place names, the very unusual ones. Are, it's really more the, the musicality, I guess, the sound of the word itself. Um, for instance, uh, Calabogi, the town north of Ottawa. Uh, I really, it's northwest of Ottawa. I really like, I like the sound of that. There's a uh, town up uh, north of Ottawa, Quebec, called Casabajua. And again, I just, I just collect these sort of names. So Matchadash has always stayed on, on my radar. 
it turns out that it, it means, um, at least I've read that it means swampy land. And that's why the Machadash Bay over on Georgian Bay is a very swampy area. Um, so that's, uh, that was kind of neat. So when I found out that it meant swampy, because we sort of call a feel, a kind of loose feel, a swampy feel, you know, and uh, especially Southern music out of New Orleans and, and uh, the bayou and stuff would have a swampy feel to it. It means it's kind of loose and, and easy. And that's, we have that New Orleans sort of influence in a lot of music I write. So uh, that seemed to fit. Now the parish part of it is interesting because um, as you say, it does con connote that, that it's a congregation. And there's so many of us, you know, it was either, I was trying to get a word to say, you know, we're either the, the, the choir or the, or the congregation or, uh, and then I thought of parish because in, in New Orleans itself, the wards are called parishes. Yeah. So it's, and, and that's also in Barbados and, and different, different uh, countries around the world, instead of saying ward or even county, in Barbados is county, they call them parishes because they were based on the churches. They were the parishes from the churches. So I thought that was a nice connection too. So this really comes out to be like the swampy ward or something. That's what the translation would be. But I like the idea that then the people, uh, the audience become parishioners. You know, they, they're connected to this whole thing because really it is uh, a... Uh, the show really doesn't exist without that audience giving back. And especially this kind of show, this kind of gospel influenced, you know, high energy, just think of yourself in a, in a Southern Baptist church, you know, that that's the kind of response we like and we get when we play this stuff. So, uh, uh, yeah, so that's Matchadash Parish. It's funny, my, my spell checker won't do it. <laughs> I get about halfway through and it says something else. I forget what it says, but it, it doesn't recognize Matchadash. So I'll have to teach it yeah. <laughs> so I don't have to keep on correcting it all the time. So, but with a, a large band like this, yeah. and people who are working independently of yeah. each other, um, when you're putting together a show which is going to last for, I don't know, one hour and a half or something like that, um, how much rehearsal time do you have to put in to, to get all that together? Well, for this, we'll, we have to put in, we'll put in four, probably four good rehearsals. We're also rehearsing, we're doing a, a record in either the last week of May or the first week of June. So we're rehearsing for that as well. Yeah, it's a lot of it's a lot of work, especially uh, especially since it's all original. So that even though that Matt and I know the tunes, and some of the people in the band know the tunes because they played with me in other ways, my tunes, anyways. Um, it's not like bringing a cover tune that somebody knows, and they go, "Oh yeah, well right, I've already played that. I played that 20 years ago. Whatever. This is no, I've never heard it." So that does take longer to start up, and uh, this isn't a one-off. Like we now that we have got it in motion, uh, got the parishioners together. Uh, no, we, we're going to uh, keep going. I think we're, we're looking at a, at a book at a couple of major festivals in the summer. So uh, we'll uh, definitely yeah, keep this thing going because it's, it's wonderful to play your own music. Used to be That's pretty much all I have to ask. But do you have any? Do you have anything that you would like to add that I haven't covered? Well, I, I think that uh, uh, the people who liked the last waltz last year, and I think part of that, the charm of that, is that many people on stage. You know, <laughs> we had a, a virtually the same amount with guests. We had, I guess, 14 people on stage, but uh, three of them were just coming and going as guests. Um, this will be about the same size of band, and there is a certain energy for that. And there's a, certainly an energy having two drummers, mm, yeah. uh, which I wasn't really aware of until I worked with two drummers, you know. But what, what that also gives us a flexibility that, like Matt playing the mandolin, and I play accordion. So even though there's 12 people, it can go to a very acoustic sort of sounding space, mm. you know, because we have the players to do that. And then we'll feature, uh, like Keisha Wint, we'll feature her in songs as well. She's going to sing one of my songs called uh, God Gave You Hands. Mm -hmm. So I think it, 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 it's, it's perfect that it's on a Sunday night because it, it'll have that a bit of uh, uh, that old old time religion gospel tent sort of thing. Yeah. That's the kind of energy we're looking for. But uh, it'll also be a lot of soul. Uh, I think people will be 
very pleased. Mm -hmm. to see what we've come up with. It's uh, we're, we're really looking forward to it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we're really looking forward. The whole parish, the whole Matchedash parish, is looking forward to seeing you at Mariposa. Mm -hmm.